In this video, we're gonna use an oldie but goodie that's available again now from Katie's Bubbles. This is two to mango, and we're gonna be using the incredible Wade and Butcher for gentlemen's use. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and I'm so glad to be with you this Sunday morning, the day after Independence Day here in the United States. So today, we're gonna to use an oldie but goodie. It is two to mango. I will show you the new label, uh, I'll put it up for you right there because this is an old soap. I bought this back in the day where you got eight ounces of soap for $20 or $2.50 an ounce, which is incredible. Nowadays, they're smaller. Uh, the new version, which has a better formula, presumably, um, is $14 for four ounces or $3.50 an ounce, which is still a, a decent price on our cost chart. It, it's not over that $4 Announce mark where sto soaps start to get expensive. Uh, I really love the scent of this. It has a really bright, sweet mango scent. Uh, so the way they describe it at Katie's Bubbles is ripe mango with a touch of green skin. So it sort of reminds you of cutting a mango uh, and you, you get that scent once you cut the mango. Again, this is the old one, eight ounces of soap. This is the way they used to roll in the old days. Sadly, that is no longer the case. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Oh, I forgot to mention, we're going to be using the Wade and Butcher for gentleman's use that was sent to me as a gift uh, by the Stallion. Thank you very much, Stallion. The Stallion to this day is still watching all my straight razor shaves and he will comment and give me tips. This is uh, going to be straight razor shave number 49. And every single time he's giving me tips and, you know, words of encouragement. So thank you very much, Stallion. He has given so much of his time. I really appreciate it. By the way, I'm using the uh, PAA Cube, which I really love to use for pre-shave. Not that it's needed. Uh, Katie's Bubbles is a proven formula. This one is quite old. I don't actually know how old. I'm guessing five, six years old. Uh, but it's still going to work just fine. I got some uh, whipped up in our bowl here. And it does still make a creamy lather. I'll roll in a shot real quick for you right there. And let's just... Get started today. Whoa, what is in this? This is so bright. And uh, Chris just recently brought this back. So if you have never seen this one available, it's because he brought it back for the summer. So check it out at Katie's Bubbles. Um, I know Chris. I haven't talked to him much in recent years, um, but he's a good guy. I've broken bread with him. Um, really nice guy. Still making great products. You don't see him used as much on YouTube. Um, but it's not because they're not worthy because, you know, they're a very well-priced soap and he has some great scents. Um, they are, as far as I know, still vegan. Uh, I don't think he makes tallow soaps. And if I'm wrong, Chris, and if you happen to see this, please correct me. I would love to see some tallow from Chris. Uh, I think he's experimented with it and maybe had some special runs in the past. But again, it's been a while since I've talked to Chris, but he's a great guy and he's still out there making these wonderful uh, soaps. He's got a lot of great scents. I think he is uh, underrated when it comes to making scents. Um, he he is one of those artisans that early on inspired a lot of us to really buy a lot of artisan soap. So if you're an artisan right now and you came after Chris from Katie's Bubbles, thank him because he was one of those that paved, paved the way years ago along with, you know, Douglas Smythe and, and Soap Commander and many of the early artisans, Razor Rock. All right, let's get started here. We'll rotate that in. And here we go with our weight and butcher, butcher, excuse me, for gentleman's use. This razor is quite old. It's uh, somewhere around 1840, um, in between 1840 and 1880. So it is a very old razor. And if it could talk, I would love to hear the story that it would tell. Obviously it doesn't have its original scales. These are, uh, I think these uh, scales here were done by a gentleman called Silver Loaf, I wanna say. Stallion, if you're watching this, please uh, comment below. Uh, really beautiful razor, beautiful razor. And there aren't very many of these around. I mention it every time I use it. Um, I only know of uh, about four that are out there and they're probably more maybe laying around in a antique store or something, but you don't see a lot of these being used, at least on YouTube. Uh, so it's an incredible 
razor that I'm very thankful for. So thank you very much. Uh oh, I just cut my ear right there. Yep, I did. That's what happens when you get careless and that's gonna bleed. I haven't cut myself for a while, so straight razors have a way of uh, keeping you honest and keeping you on your game. And I was not on my game right there. And that's going to bleed a lot because those cuts on your ears bleed. So I have to hit that with the styptic in between passes here. So let that be a lesson to you folks. If you get careless and you sleep, you will get a reminder. You will get a quick reminder. And so I will fix that up in between passes here, but have no fear. It'll heal up. It's been a while since I've cut myself, so I was due. All right, let's wipe that off. We'll rinse that ear, we'll hit it with the styptic so it won't be bleeding throughout the shave, and we'll be right back, stay tuned. All right, so we're back and we've hit the ear there with the styptic, if you see that white stuff, that's what that is. And again, that, that will serve as a reminder that if you get too complacent with the straight and you're not paying attention to where that blade is, you will get yourself, as I did today, so. Again, I'm still in the learning process, very much in the learning process. So, you know, learn from my mistake. And a lot of people nick their ears um, here and there. I saw the chief nick his ear about a month ago, um, and I was just being careless, not paying attention. You cannot do that with a straight razor. You really have to be on your game at all times. And so I was not, and it has given me a reminder to pay attention. <laughs> All right, let's get back going with our case bubbles. A couple of uh, people to mention today. I wanna mention Marion the Barbarian who has a giveaway uh, ongoing, his 100 subscriber giveaway ongoing right now. So I will link his channel below. If you wanna check out that giveaway, please feel free. Need to choke up on this razor a little bit. Um, I also want to mention Steve Walker, who I talked to on the phone yesterday. Man, Steve is a great, great guy. He's funny. Now, his channel does use some adult language. So, you know, be mindful of that. But uh, he's a great guy. So please check out Steve Walker. Steve, I enjoyed talking to you yesterday. That was a lot of fun. We had a... Great chat. We were just talking about all kind of stuff. The old days. Steve recently returned after a long hiatus from from YouTube. So I'm so glad to see Steve back in the game, so to speak. And with everything going well, he's down in Gulf Shores, which, uh, well, actually he's in Perdido Key, which is a beautiful, beautiful beach. It's just a few miles from Gulf Shores. It's uh right there around the border of Mexico, of uh, Alabama and Florida. Absolutely beautiful beaches, white sand, tremendous. So Steve, I hope you get a chance to enjoy the beach. Those are some of the best beaches in the United States. In my opinion, just absolutely beautiful. So if you've never, if you've never checked out those beaches around that Perdido area, Destin, 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 whatever is Florida, that's not, that's a little further up, but it's really beautiful. All those beaches on that Gulf coast of Florida are really beautiful. So if you've only been to the Atlantic side on the East Coast and you've never been to the Gulf beaches, the Gulf, <laughs> it is fantastic as Steve will attest. And uh, it sounds like he inherited a house from his in-laws, a beach home. His father-in-law, I think he said, got tired of messing with it. It needed work and so... You're a lucky dog, Steve, because those are some beautiful beaches. White sand, really just awesome. Alabama's a beautiful state. A lot of people don't know that. That's where Steve hails from out of uh, Huntsville, out of Alabama. Really is a beautiful state. I didn't know it until I was going down in that area. I really love it. It's a great state. All right, let's rinse here. The razor is cutting well, as you can tell <laughs> by the ear. There'll be a little mark there. And again, straight razor shaving keeps you humble and keeps you honest. It will keep you on your toes and you, you can never sleep. I was talking and just not paying attention and beep, you know. And as soon as you cut yourself, you know it. You don't feel it, you just know it, you know. 
you're just like, oh, I just cut myself. I saw the chief video um, yesterday or a couple of days ago where he got himself and I was like, oh, I just cut myself. You know, as soon as you do it, you know, and you're like, oh man, you know, <laughs> but that comes with straight razor shaving. You're going to cut yourself sometimes. Uh, more so when you're new, uh, but it's been a while for me, so it's time for me to be humbled. Today I had to play, pay the blood oath, as they say it. Uh, I also want to mention another video that I was watching, uh, John Chaves 101, who I've mentioned many times. Um, I was watching his video, and he was funny. I mean, first of all, he's so happy to be back to work, so I just love his enthusiasm about being back to work. And secondly... He was talking about, uh, at the end of his videos, he he's usually just says, please like and subscribe. And I guess someone commented that he's begging for subs and likes. And and it was funny because he said, uh, someone commented and said I was begging for subs and likes. And he said, he said basically, that's true. <laughs> and he's not really begging. He's just saying that, you know, if you enjoy it, please watch. Because if you enjoy it, and you like and subscribe, it gives him an excuse to buy more gear, which I thought was very funny. So, John, still in, enjoying your videos, and I enjoy your uh, sense of humor, so please keep plugging on. Um, when I watch these videos, I often comment about things that are just funny, you know. By the way, this soap smells great, and it's working quite well. So even a soap that's, I want to say this is five years old, at least. Even at five years old, the performance is still quite good. It's going to get the job done. It does not include the, the ingredients, which I call cheap copper oil, dragon tallow, super blue emu, unicorn milk. Uh, it does contain, I can't remember. Let me show the ingredients there. I think it does contain a couple of butters and so on, uh, but it's good stuff and it works quite well. And this is a great scent. If you like uh, mango, citrusy scents, this is great. Don't sleep on Katie's. They have a lot of nice scents, I think. All right, let's finish this baby out and try not to cut our ear again here. There we go. Very nice. One thing a cut will do, it will make you more careful for the rest of the shave. And everybody does it eventually. So if you're new and you're cutting yourself a few times, just know that that's sort of, you know, it comes with the territory. I'm not gonna pull on this ear because I don't want that to start bleeding again. The bad thing about those ear cuts is they bleed a lot. I cut myself on my ear um, with the head blade, I think one time, or I was shaving my head, and it is really easy to cut yourself on your ears when you're head shaving. All right. Incredible blade here. Thank you so much, Stallion. And as I always say, say excuse me, when I started using straight razors again, um, the Stallion sent me a gold dollar, but he also sent this one. I think he did it because he knew I just really appreciate these old things like this and I have such reverence for it that, you know, once I got this, I had to keep straight razor shaving because, you know, you can't accept a gift like this and just not never use it. Very nice. Very nice. Boy, what a magnificent scent this is. Old school Katie's Bubbles. He's one of the, you know, artisans from seven, eight years ago. Um, and I, when I use it, you know, I reflect back on that time and how much fun it was and how much fun a lot of us have had who were around at that time and how many people are gone and no longer uh, in the hobby, or at least, you know, they don't communicate anymore. And that's sad, like Busta and Rico and, you know, I could go on and on, Ray Pope. We had so much fun. Uh, it was just a great time. It's a great time now, too. All right, let me rinse. We'll get back 
We'll come back, that is, and get into the boat. Stay tuned. All right, we're back with our Lancaster towel, which is fantastic. I mention it every shave, phenomenal. Apart from that uh, cut on the ear there, which I'm leaving a little bit of that styptic there just to make sure it remains closed. That was a really nice shave. Um, you know, my, my bar for great shave is you can't cut yourself. So I can't call this a great shave. But apart from that, it was fun. Uh, the soap, Katie's Bubbles, performed very, very well. Even being a very old soap, it still hits the mark even today. Um, I'm wiping the Wade and Butcher for Gentleman's Use off that has drawn blood today. So this old razor has gotten yet another person. I don't think I had cut myself with this razor, uh, but now I have. So there you go, Wade and Butcher. I paid the blood. <laughs> uh, let's get out some witch hazel. This is Thayer's witch hazel magic because it's made by witches. You know that's true. All right. Hit the dome, gents, when you got the witch hazel, if you have the good fortune of having the bald. Very nice. That was actually a pretty nice shave on a pretty nice day. Uh, I didn't mention the brush. I used a West Coast Shaving Two-Tone Brush, which was sent to me by Oive. Oive, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. And we're going to use a uh, aftershave that was sent to me by Marion the Barber, MTB. Marion the Barbarian, not Marion the Barber, I'm sorry. Again, check out his giveaway video below. This is uh, West Coast Shaving Pear Shop. Fantastic pear and barber shop. Pear burr, it's got some uh, menthol in it. It just smells great. I love pear scents. There aren't enough pear soaps out there, in my opinion. You know me, I love all the citrusy and fruity since sometimes they can be too sweet, it's possible, but for the most part, I love them. I love them so much, I'm going for another round. Let's do it. Very, very nice. This is a good one from West Coast Shaving. And I think uh, one of the soaps was actually made, one of the Pever Shop soap was actually made by Katie's Bubbles. So if they still have it, check it out. That's a fantastic scent. I love it. I want to thank each and every one of you who are watching. If you've hung around this far, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not. I would really appreciate it. Until next time, I want to remind you that I am CDB. It's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.